you're a big Ed Asner fan, right? You were? Okay, um, he was my uh, across-the-street neighbor for years. And I get to know him, and one of my dearest friends in Los Angeles. The I want to tell you the way I met him. Now, I knew who he was because he was the SAG president, my union president. He was out of town, and the neo-Nazis came by and spray-painted killed Jews in his skull and crossbone on his door. So, um, and then called the, you know, newscasters. Well, Renee showed, my wife showed me, and so I rubbed it off, and no, nothing happened. The next day, Ed Asner came to my home and said, oh, you're the guy that took that paint off my door? I said, yeah. And he went, I want to thank you. I said, oh, no problem. You don't think I wanted other people to know Jews lived in our neighborhood? And he gave me one of those slow, bubbling, growling laughter that goes crazy. And from then on, we were like dear friends. That's so that was that was your that was your meet cute. That's how you met Ed Asner then. Yeah, he kind of liked it. I was an odd duck because he's an odd duck. He was, and uh, you know, a charming guy and different. He was different. I saw him in New York on in Broadway, and I, I, I hired him to do audio books with me. I did a play with him. I did cartoons. Everything. Once I asked him. Uh, what, who made you better as an actor? Because, you know, you ask each other questions like that. And he went, well, Danny Trevani and Will Ferrell. And I said, Will Ferrell? He made you better? And he went, yeah. When he looked at me and said, I know you, I knew I had to really pick up my Oscar. And so that level of commitment by Will Ferrell really encouraged it asked her to really act up a storm. It's one of the best Santas ever in Elf. <laughs>